This is some National 5 uh, Maths Revision uh, for any assessments that you may have in January and February. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, free National 5 Maths Guys work. Um, they've put together some questions and the question we're going to look at uh, this time is we're going to look at the algebraic fraction section. So it's question 7 on this, uh, this piece of work here that's on their website. Right, so let's go ahead and do these and I'll try and get through them as quick as I can. Can you freeze the video, try the questions and you can check my answers just uh, once you're finished. Right then, so um, what I'm going to do with this here is uh, when I work out uh, algebraic fractions, um, simple way to do it is to multiply the left hand side by whatever's sitting on the bottom and the right hand side by whatever's on the, on the, the bottom on the, the left hand side. So right hand side bottom times this side left hand side bottom times this side that's here. So let's go and do that because we're going to try and combine these into one uh, fraction on its own. Okay, so I'm just going to put one line to show that there's one fraction going to just appear here. So I'm going 3x times 3. So that's going to give me 9x. Okay, I've got 2x times 1 and I've got a positive in between there. So that's going to give me 2x on the top. And then when I multiply the bottom, that's going to be 6x squared. Okay, that's going to be there. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up the, the terms that I can and I can gather up the terms on the top. So that's going to give me 11x all over 6x squared. Now, I can see that I've got x on the top and x on the bottom or x squared on the bottom. So what I can do is I can divide the top and bottom by uh, by x. That will cancel that x out there just to a one and it will cancel that power just to a power of one. OK, so on the top I have 11 and that's going to be all over 6x and that's the uh, question complete okay right then so on to the next one so the, the technique that i'm kind of using is sometimes called kiss and smile where what we do is we do a, a multiply like that first of all we do a multiply like that next and then to gather the denominators we're gathering up by multiplying the the two bottom terms there that are on the bottom right let's go ahead and do this again okay sometimes there's simpler ways of doing it but uh, this technique usually works out quite neatly for, for all of these uh, types of questions. So 2 times x will give me 2x. And 3 times x squared is going to be plus a 3x squared. Okay, And on the bottom, I've got an x to the power of 3, x cubed. So here, um, I can't gather the top line together. I can't gather the numerator. But what I can see, I've got x terms and everything. So what I could do is I could divide everything by x squared, okay? Or I could take out a common factor. I might do that just to show you what we're what we're doing there. But I could cancel down all the way. That would go to one, a positive one. That one there would be a power of one. That would be to a power of two. I'm going to take a common factor out instead on the top line. So I've taken x out as a common factor. That leaves with two plus three x, okay? And on the bottom, I've got still x cubed. So now what I'll do is I'm going to cancel this one I'm not cancelling, basically. I'm just uh, dividing the top by x, which leaves me with 1. Divide the top by x, it leaves me with uh, a squared term. And then I'll just write out my answer. So all I've got left is 1 times this part here, which is just 2 plus 3x, all over x squared. And that's my final answer. Okay, so the last one of this time, oh no, it's not the last one of this time. Let's go ahead and do this one. It's got a negative sign in between. So that's going to be 6x on the top minus 5x and then on the bottom it's 15x squared so if i gather these together that leaves me with x so 6x take away 5x just leaves me with x on the top and 15x squared there now we can see an x on the top and an x on the bottom and this will demonstrate it quite well if i divide the top by x i end up with one if i divide the bottom by x i get a power of one that's sitting on there Okay, so that's going to be 1 all over 15x. Final answer. Okay. That's that one done. Right, so down the bottom, what we've got here is we've got the same type of thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it the same type of way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply across the way. So, and I'm going to get this into a single fraction. So 2x times 3 will give me uh, 6x. <clears throat> then I've got a negative 1 there times 
6x minus 1. And I'm just writing it out like that so I don't lose that negative sign because that's going to give me a wee bit of a problem uh, when I do this type of work here. And on the bottom, I'm just going to write it out in full. So I've got 2x times that or that times 2x. So I'm going to say it's 2x times 6x minus 1. <coughs> Excuse me. That's that there. Right, so let's multiply the top line out. So I've got 6x minus 6x, and that's going to be minus 1 times minus 1. It'll be a positive 1 that's there. On the bottom, I'll multiply that out as well. So let's see what we've got. We've got uh, 12x squared, and that's going to be minus 2x. So on the top, I can see that that and that, well, they're going to cancel out, aren't they? So 6x take away 6x, that becomes 0. So what I've got on the top is 1 all over 12x squared minus 2x. And I could take out a common factor if I wanted at that point. I'm not doing, not going to do that at this time. There's the final answer there. I'll just put it up on, on, the, uh, on the camera for you. Okay, so that's that type of question where we're uh, adding or subtracting uh, algebraic fractions. Usually with this type here that we've got for E and F, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, do some uh, factorising. Once we factorise, we'll then uh, be able to cancel out a bracket on the top and a bracket on the bottom, hopefully. Okay, so let's factorise the top line that's here. Top line will take out a common factor of uh, 2. That's going to leave me x squared minus 4. <clears throat> on the bottom, what we'll do there is we will uh, put that into two brackets. Okay, and if I go through the magic number factorising, I should get x and x. I'll get a, I think I'll get a 3 and a 2, really. 3 and a 2, and I'll probably have that one being positive and that one being negative there. So that, that should work out for me there. Not getting my full marks if I leave it like that, because I can see a difference of squares that's sitting in there. So that'd be an x minus 2 and an x plus 2 that's going to be there. Um, and on the bottom, I've got x minus 2 and an x plus 3. Now, what I can see there is I've got a bracketed term. These things are all multiplied together, so I can cancel down if I want to. And I really do want to here to get my, my final mark for this. That should leave me with 2 bracket x plus 2 on the top, and I've got x plus 3 on the bottom. And that, that will be my final answer there. Or what I could always do is just multiply that back out again. Uh, to get that bracket multiplied to a 2x uh, plus a 4 on the top line if I wanted to show it without any brackets. Okay, which would just be uh, 2x plus 4 all over x plus 3. Okay then, so either of these ones. Right, last, last one that we've got here. So I can see on the bottom we've got something that's a wee bit more complicated, so I hope I've got enough space to work on it. Right, so what we'll go for, first of all, is we'll go for taking out a common factor. So I'm going to take out 2x as a common factor. What that should leave me is 2x here, minus 1 on the top. On the bottom, well, I'm going to have to do a bit of work to try to sort that out. Um, I'm going to do that just down the bottom here, and hopefully I can, I can show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and factorise 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. So I've got a magic number method that I use. So the magic number is going to be negative 24. I'm going to think about the factors of 24. Okay, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, and then we're back to 6 again. So there's all the factors. I'm going to replace that uh, plus 5x with something that's in here. So the only ones that will make a 5 will be the 3 and the 8. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get a plus 8 and a minus 3. So, okay, so... What I would do is I'm going to replace that part there with a plus 8 and a minus 3. So minus 3x and a plus 8x. So these gather up to make a positive 5x. So from there, I'm going to just do the work that I was doing in my factorising video. So what I'll do is I'll uh, cut, the, cut the equation there. We'll look to the left-hand side and take out what's common. So the things that are common is the number 3 and an x. So that should give me a 2x in the bracket, and that's going to be minus a 1 that's there. Okay. And what I can already see is there's a 2x minus 1, there's a 2x minus 1 that was on the top line when I worked it out. So I'm, I'm reckoning that they're going to cancel out. 
Right, so I'm going to take out a common factor of 4, so plus 4, and that's going to be 2x, and that's going to be minus 1. Check the brackets are the same, which they are, and I'm going to gather things up. So the way I gather it, 3x plus 4, and a 2x minus 1, just one of these brackets that come in there. So that's me got to that sorted out there. So I'm going to take that working from there and plug it back in up above. So that's going to be 3x, and that's plus 4. That's one bracket. And on the bottom bracket is 2x minus 1. Now what I can see here is that I can cancel that bracket out with that bracket there because we're multiplying all these things together. Okay, I've just come down back to the question. And uh, what we have left is, so I've got 2x on the top, and on the bottom I've got 3x plus 4. And that should be that complete. I did have to do some work down below just on uh, factorising. So for this type of question, make sure that you can factorise um, to the best of your ability. And uh, these ones here will be, will be well worth uh, having a look at. Some good marks to be gained in these ones here. So... That was um, algebraic fractions, it included a bit of factorising, that was a wee bit of a surprise there, but that's some of the things that you have to do when you're working through this type of question. So, good luck and uh, uh, all the best for any of the assessments that you have in January and February. Good bit of Christmas revision and uh, continue with that. Good luck.